In this video, I have uh, prepared a little program which uh, contains a bug, and I'm going to show you how to find or how that bug will appear in the debugger and how to use the possibility to include exception to see exception dumps in your IDE. Uh, the bug in the program is that I'm accessing an uninitialized fact, a fact which is erroneous and never assigned to anything. Let me first start uh, the program in the debugger. And what we see is that we first get to uh, the goal. But let me just immediately jump up to here. by using run to cursor. And then I will use uh, step into. Normally I would use the uh, F11 key. And once more, step into, it's also here. And now we reach uh, the point where the exception will be raised. And the program just stopped. If I switch on break on exception, you will see another behavior. I say run again, and you will see immediately I just jump to the line where the fact is uh, accessed. And you will see in the call st run stack over here that I am in level three. And then I have a lot of calls inside the runtime system, which eventually raise the exception. This call in level three comes from level two, which we can see in the program that it actually comes from level one, but there's no entry in the stack from level one because level two is actually what is called a tail call or a last call. And that means that it doesn't appear on the run stack, in the final call, it has been optimized away. So what we will just see is that run has called level one. And inside level two, we have called level three. And inside level three, we have reached the exception point. Let me just stop debugging and then run the program without a debugger. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Can't remember where they are in the menu. I never use the menu. Uh, what we see here is a typical exception dump from a program that goes wrong. And what I will just do now is to copy at least the part of the dump which contains all the line info. And then I will say copy. I can close this now. And then in the IDE, I will say go to position on clipboard. And what you will see is that what I cut from the program before appears in this window line numbers, I can go to exactly the same places as I were in the, and we can see that we are actually inside run in main exit pro. This is very uh, important. If you experience exception dumps, use this, copy the dump and use this go to position on clipboard. That's it.